वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू टॉपिक हियर दैट इज प्लान ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर्स वी हैव सीन द प्रोसेस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट हाउ डेवलपमेंट टेक्स प्लेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ ग्रोथ एंड डिफ्रेंसिएशन इन द प्लांट्स नाउ वी विल सी व्हाट आर द अदर फैक्टर्स व्हिच हेल्प्स इन द डेवलपमेंट एंड द ग्रोथ ऑफ द प्लांट हियर दीज प्लान ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर्स plant growth regulators regulators are the ones which helps in regulating the growth controlling the growth of the plant sometimes the grow it fastens the activity growth activity sometimes it delays it slows down the activity so this sort of regulation is done by certain substances which are present in the plant itself so those substances are called as plant growth regulators short form that is pgrs plant growth regulators these plant growth regulators can also be called as plant growth hormones plant growth hormones or they can even call as phyto hormones phyto hormones plant growth substances a uh, plant growth they can even call as plant growth substances plant growth substances all of them are one and the same they can be called as plant growth regulators they can be called as plant growth hormones they can be called as plant growth substances or they can be called as phyto hormones so all of them all the four words that is four names but this thing is the same so these are the certain chemicals certain chemical substances which helps in regulating the growth of the plant plant growth substances or plant growth regulators are nothing but substances which helps in regulating the growth of the plant like example in human human beings also we have hormones we have hormones hormones are nothing but chemical substances which are present in very small amount they are produced in ductless glands that is endocrine glands and they are produced at one place and after production at one place they will be transported to the place where it is required through the blood through the blood here in human beings as well as in animals certain chemicals will be there which are called as hormones they will be produced at one place and transported to where it is required where it is required through the blood as they are produced by ductless glands so there are no ducts which will be connecting that place to another place so whatever chemical the glands produce they will be releasing in the blood so blood when it flows to a particular part or the organ that organ catches that hormone and they will start functioning so in our body in the bodies of animals and human beings hormones are present in to regulate the growth to regulate the growth for example growth regulating hormone is there it it helps on the si uh, height of the person if uh, if the growth reg reg regulating hormone is produced in very less amount the person will be suffering from dwarfism if it is produced in normal amount the person will have normal height if it is produced in high amount the person will be a giant like person that condition is called as gigantism so thyroxine is there which will be helping the thyroid gland to function adrenaline is there so different hormones are there in human body they can be found in animals also likewise same plants will also have hormones hormones not exactly hormones hormone like chemicals will be present hormones like chemicals will be present so that is why they are called as phyto hormones that is hormones which are present in plant actually hormones cannot be said but here those are the chemical substances the best way to name them is plant growth regulators or plant growth substances so these are chemical substances this plant growth substances are nothing but chemical substances chemical substances this chemical substance has a massive impact on the growth of the plants 
they are produced in very little quantity very minute concentrations but still they are very much important for the growth of the plant they are very much important for the growth of the plant coming to the characteristics these chemical that is here these plant growth regulators they are very small and simple molecules small and simple molecules of diverse chemical composition diverse means these are the molecules very small and simple molecules and have different different chemical composition each molecule has different composition simple molecules few simple molecules are there with chemical different chemical composition and those molecules simple molecules will be regulating the growth of the plants so what different chemical compositions what are the different chemical compositions here sometimes that is in some we have indole compounds indole compound then we have adenine derivatives n for furyl amino acid then we have kinetins these are the different chemical substances indole compounds indole acetic acid indole butyric acid these are the different uh, indole compounds then adenine derivatives then we have kinetin we also have a gaseous substance that is substance which is in the gaseous form and we also have terpenes terpenes are there indole compounds are there kinetins are there gas gaseous substances are there and here kinetin is there so these are the different chemical substances these are the chemical substances which are found in these plant growth substances which are found in plant growth substances plant growth substances are simple molecules which have different chemical composition in one in some it that is in few it is having indole then it can have kinetin in in some molecules it has indole compounds in some molecules it has kinetin compounds in some molecules it has carotenoid compounds carotenoid derivatives then in some they have terpenes and in some they have that is gaseous substance that is ethylene is there a gaseous substance a volatile substance that is ethylene is present so simple molecules of this one of these compositions constitute the plant growth regulators we have five different plant growth regulators we have five different plant growth regulators first is auxin second is gibberellins third is cytokinins fourth is abscisic acid and fifth is ethylene we have plant growth sub five plant growth substances these are small and simple molecules with different chemical composition for example auxin is a simple small simple molecule with chemical composition of indole compounds indole compounds then gibberellins it has terpenes the cytokinins kinetins then abscisic acid it has carotenoid derivatives then ethylene it is a gaseous substance it is a gaseous substance so these plant growth regulators are simple molecules with different chemical composition so we have five different plant growth regulators or plant regulate growth regulating substances the first is auxin second is gibberellins with terpenes as the chemical derivative auxin indole compounds as the derivative with chemical derivatives cytokinins with kinetins as the derivative abscisic acid carotenoid derivative and ethylene it is a gaseous substance so we have five plant growth regulators depending on the functions these five growth regulators perform they have been classified under two groups depending on the functions they perform 
depending upon the functions these five plant growth regulating substances perform they are divided into two groups they are divided into two groups the first is plant regulating first group of substances helps in the growth of the plant helps in the growth of the plant and the second group of the plant growth regulators they help in inhibiting it helps plant regulating means it helps in increasing the growth it helps in increasing growth then inhibiting substances that is it inhibits it inhibits stops it stops the growth of the uh, plants plant growth regulating substance regulators they act in both the both ways one they will be promoting the growth that is promoting the growth increasing or promoting and few growth regulators will be inhibiting the growth of the plant plant requires both the regulators plants cannot continuously that is just grow they need to stop for a while and then again they will be start growing so for to control that to control that the plant growth substances are of two categories that is inhibitors and promoters plant growth substances based on the function they perform they are classified into two groups first group is of inhibitors and second group is of promoters promoters and inhibitors we have five chemical that is we have five plant growth regulating substances out of these five this auxin auxin cytokinin and gibberellins auxin cytokinins and gibberellins they are growth promoters they are growth promoters they will be promoting the growth of the plant and this abscisic acid abscisic acid is the substance or the plant growth regulating substance which inhibits the growth this ethylene it sometimes acts as the promoting substance and sometimes acts as the inhibiting substances but the impact the inhibiting impact is more when compared to promoting activities inhibiting activities are more when compared to promoting activities so that is why we include ethylene ethylene we include ethylene as also in inhibitors it performs both the functions but the functions of inhibition is more when compared to functions of promotion so that is why this is included in under inhibitor so plant depending on the functions they perform they are of two group they are classified into two groups promoters and inhibitors auxins gibberellins and cytokinins these three comes under growth promoting substances and ethyl ethylene and abscisic acid they comes under inhibitors they comes under inhibitors now how these how this auxins cytokinins and gibberellins how they help in promoting they help in promoting the growth of the plant by causing cell division because when cells divide then the growth of the plant will be there cells will divide new cells will form and the increase in size takes place then that means growth taken and growth has taken place that is the auxins cytokinins and gibberellins they help in growth by performing the, by helping in cell division by helping in cell enlargement by helping in increasing the size of the cell here it increase in number of cells it increases in number of cells here size of cell in is is increased pattern formation then flowering that is growing of flowers on the plants growing of fruits on the plants growing of that is 
inside this fruit seed formation all these are the growth promoting activities all these are the growth promoting activities which is helped by this auxin cytokinins and gibberellins which is helped by auxin cytokinins and gibberellins then here seed dormancy inhibitors how they are in, uh, that is inhibiting the work of the plant the uh, that is growth of the plant here on on plants in some season we see falling of the leaves we see falling of fruits fruit will be there fruit after flowering that flower changes into fruit fruit the fruit will be there on the plant for a certain time and after certain time what happens the fruit will fall off it won't be on the plant for a long time it will be on the plant for a few days after a few days it will fall off if it doesn't fall off then how come new where is the place for the new fruit to be produced when the older fruit the drops off then only new fruit can be produced because if it is not dropping off if the fruit does not drop if it is on the plant itself then the new plant or the new fruits or the new flowers cannot be grown so for this na the plants need to shed their fruits the plant needs to drop their fruits the plant needs to drop their leaves shed their leaves because for performing of photosynthesis after certain after performing for a certain time that the leaf will loses its ability that it won't be properly performing so what happens the plants will be shedding the proper uh, older leaves and new leaves will be growing new leaves will be growing new that is the plants will be shedding the fruits newly formed fruits they keep it for a while and after it afterwards it shed its fruits so that it can produce new leaves it can produce new fruits and flowers so that work of dropping of the leaves is dropping of the fruits is done by the inhibitors is done by the inhibitors that is senescence senescence that is growing older after growing old the leaves will fall off after ripening the fruits will fall off that process is that is the aging process is senescence this senescence is brought about by this inhibitors and the seed dormancy we have seen what is seed dormancy in our previous classes seeds when it doesn't get something or the some factors it will undergo a period of rest it will undergo a period of suspended growth where the growth is suspended stop and the seed will be at rest that condition is called as seed dormancy that condition is called as seed dormancy that seed dormancy is also the work of inhibitor that is abscisic acid senescence seed that is seed dormancy all these are the inhibiting activities which is done by this abscisic acid and ethylene ethylene helps in ripening of fruits abscisic acid helps in dropping of leaves and fruits from the flowers from the plants and this one ethylene helps in the ripening of fruits ripening because after the fruit the first the fruit will be in the raw form then the fruit will ripe then after after ripening it will be on a, on the plant for certain days then it will drop off that ripening of the fruit the maturation of the fruit is because of the ethylene so depending on the functions they perform plant growth regulators are classified as inhibitors and promoters auxin gibberellins and cytokinins they act as promoters abscisic acid is inhibitor and ethylene which which does more activities of inhibition showing inhibition then that is why ethylene is also considered as is included under inhibitors in the next class we will see the discovery of this plant growth regulators how the discovery has taken place and what are the scientists who are the scientists who have discovered these regulating substances then we will see in detail about how this auxin how this gibberellin how the cytokinin is helping in promoting the growth how abscisic acid is helping in inhibiting the growth how ethylene works all this will be studied in detail but first we'll start with the discovery of the 
and history of this plant growth regulating substances in the next class.